Hi, welcome to Laura Shandora. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Santa costume for moi. So I purchased this red velvet uh, material. It's stretchy in one direction and then the other direction it's not. So this will help so this will help with the tightness around my body sort of thing, but it won't stretch downwards when the <clears throat> sort of thing. And I purchased um, six yards of white fur, and I purchased four yards of this white fur, and of course, and of course, some pearls for a necklace. So first off, I measured my waist, and I created a kind of tutu um, pattern. Uh, so it's going to be like a circle that overlaps itself sort of thing. And it measures the, my weight, or not my weight, <laughs> my width around my waist sort of thing. And then I measured about a foot and a half out to create this circle like pattern. And I cut it in a way so that I'd have only a couple seams and be able to fit it together and use as much fabric as possible sort of thing. So I first drew it all out on paper, cut it all out. And for the top part of the dress, I took a jacket that I had that fitted me just right that also had a nice collar to it. And that's how I got the body shape. So the, the front two sides that are going to overlap, and then the back side. Then for my sleeve pattern, I took this round part of the top part of the um, body part, and I just doubled it, and then I measured the length from my shoulder to my wrist sort of thing, and created that um, sleeve. So it's rounded, doubled at the top, and then it goes all the way down and flattens around my wrist sort of thing. And this will be, um, my sleeves will be super long because I'll add the fur to it as well. Okay, so you're gonna cut out all these pieces and the top part of the Santa outfit I doubled so that it would have an inner layer that was nice and cozy sort of thing and it'll give more structure. So once you cut out all the pieces you're going to sew the sides and the top part of the shoulders and of course you're going to do this again because I doubled it and then you're going to sew the two uh, doubles together. You're gonna cut out the sleeves. I also started cutting out the fur. So I created a paper pattern of how thick I wanted the fur to be, width, wide, how wide I wanted the fur to be. And it's in the same round shape as the skirt that I cut so that it would line up perfectly with the seams, but also there wouldn't be any bunched um, gathering. If I cut the fur straight, there would have been um, some gathering that I'd have to do and it would have looked silly. So I made it so it was curved to match with the curve part of the skirt. Matched up the collar part of the fur with the jacket that I took the pattern from, and I cut out those from, and I cut out those pieces so there's and two long pieces for the front that match up with the neckline. Then I figured out how thick I wanted the, the cuff to be, and I just cut out a rectangle that I folded so that it would be fuzzy on the inside as well as the outside. Okay, so as you can see, I lined up all the white fur and all the red skirt pieces. 
and it overlaps. So it's a circle, but it kind of overlaps and it'll be opened. So it's more of a robe structure. There's no um, elastic or anything or zippers that tie this outfit together. It's kind of more of a wrap around your body, kind of what it looks like for the front. And let's see. Okay, so I sewed all the red skirt parts together first. And then, and then I sewed all the white fur um, together, the round parts of the skirt together. Bobby, I pinned the white fur to go around and match up with the red and match up all the, then I used zigzag stitch to zigzag and attach the white fur to the red skirt. And I used zigzag because the fur kept slipping and zigzag just added more strength of the white fur to the red fabric. Okay. Then I folded the sleeves together and sewed down the seam of the sleeve, both sleeves. And I attached the white cuff to the sleeves. So first I folded that cuff down, zigzag sewed it around, um, and sewed the loop together. And then I attached it to this red sleeve and zigzag sewed it again to the red sleeve. Okay, so now you're going, you can see the two holes where the sleeves are going to be. And I pinned the sleeves so that the hem, or not the hem, the seam matches with the side seam of the dress part. And of course, before you, before you attach the sleeves, I put on the top part just to make sure it fit just right and it had enough space for me. Then I attached the sleeves and fit it again to me to make sure that the sleeves are just right. I pinned the collar, the white fur collar, to the neckline. Made sure it all looked good in the mirror. Zigzag sewed it to the neckline, the collar to the neckline. Then for the skirt, I wanted to add a decorative white fur that went all the way down. So it attached to the <coughs> opening part of the circle. And so I just cut another white strip that matched it, folded it, zigzag sewed it to the red edge, and repeated it on the other opening side. Okay, so to add more structure to the skirt and to close up all the raw edges that are underneath the skirt, you're going to cut a fabric that measures more than what the skirt is sort of thing. So I laid the skirt down and I pinned it to this white fabric and I cut out more than what the skirt is area is. That way when I sew it, which I am gonna sew just right on the line between the fur and the red fabric, I'm going to sew the white fabric together to the skirt. Then it'll have um and make sure it's all pinned. It's kind of like quilting and binding a quilt. Once it's all pinned together and it's completely flat, then you're going to turn the white raw edge fabric over and blind stitch um, the edge. And it'll be over the fur, so the blind stitch won't be seen, the fur kind of hides that blind stitch on the other side, but it'll make a nice clean edge and you won't have any open raw, any open raw um, seams. Okay, so once that is done, 
Then it is time to attach the skirt part to the top part. And you're going to line up the openings together with each other and pin it very carefully around, all the way around the waist area. And so straight stow it around. Then the last part of this dress is attaching the eye, eye clips, the clips to hold the robe in. So I put a clip at the top neckline area um, and a clip down at the bottom part where the skirt begin, where the skirt begins, and also the other side of the skirt, so that when you wrap it, you clip it into place and it doesn't fall out. <laughs> that okay, so I use this belly wrap for the belt. It's already pulls my tummy in, which is awesome, and then. I found a frame at the dollar store that's silver that lines up just perfectly with this belly wrap and you're just going to attach it to the front part of the belly wrap and that is how you get the cool buckle look. And of course I strung up the pearls and made a Santa hat and that is how I made this Santa outfit for moi. I hope this video puts you in the Christmas spirit and helps you out with your own um, holiday costume making this year. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.